Okay, today I want to show you how to make uh, the TM2020 mask, or at least something that's pretty similar to it. This mask was designed by Tommy Austin from San Antonio, Texas. She's this incredible nurse who's been doing this for years, and she designed this mask for healthcare workers. Um, what you're going to need is two pieces of elastic. One is 8 inches long and the other is 10 inches long. One nose guard, I bought these on Amazon. I'll put links below to all the pieces I bought. You could use any other piece of wire for this, but I'm liking those. And then you're gonna need three pieces of fabric, an inside piece that no one's really gonna see, the filter piece, and then the outer fabric of the mask. The filter is made by, this, made by Filty, which is um, a company that makes HVAC filters. Um, you're going to see that the filthy has a soft side and like a smoother side. The soft side is the side that's going to be up against the fabric that you want on the outside. So smooth towards your face, soft away from your face. First step you're going to do is align all the fabrics with the, again, the fuzzy side facing the fabric you want on the outside of your mask. The size of this fabric is gonna depend on who you're making the mask for. All of the adult masks are 12 inches this way. This measurement is the measurement from your ear, ear on your cheek, kind of where that your jaw pops when you move it, across your nose to the other side. On me, it's about nine and a half inches. Um, there's a range, some of the men that I've been making them for are close to 12. Um, in her her PDF explanation of the mask, she just has everyone make 12 by 12 squares and then kind of measure it on your face, but I find it a little easier to measure before and cut a rectangle. Place the little nose wire at the very top, um, right in the middle, and then you're gonna fold it down and you're gonna sew it in. So you can see that I hemmed the top here, just a really simple straight stitch, and then the you can see that the metal is on the inside right at the middle because it folds up nicely. That's one way I like to check if I got it in the middle. Um, and then you're gonna do it the same the same thing on the other end, but there will be no metal metal in it because it's on the bottom of the mask. Okay, so now you have it hemmed um, on both ends. I trimmed off any extra. Um, and these are about a half inch seams. Um, this is the more complicated part. This is the part that in the tutorial that um, Mrs. Austin put out, I had a hard time following it. So I thought I'd try and do it in video because I thought that might be a little clearer. Um, and so here's what you do. You fold it in half like this over I like using this one inch, this ruler is one inches fat, so wide, That's so that's nice. So once it's folded in half, and I'm like, that's half. Then I fold like this and like this. So it's an accordion fold, like that. Then, then I, so there's that accordion fold. I moved the, the ruler from there up so that it just lays next to it that way, and I'm gonna do it with the other side of the fabric like this okay so then you have it folded over like an accordion okay so you have it folded you took you take the and then you fold it in half along that line and so you have it looks like this on this side and like this on this side. So I'll unfold it so you can see it again. Like that and like that. So it comes in and in on these one inch pleats essentially. And then you fold it up so that it matches at the top. Then you're going to figure out sort of the center of your mask. From here it's just gonna be a diagonal stitch from the inside to the outside of the mask on both sides. And you're gonna sew your elastic in between here. There's one 
10 inch piece, which goes around the top part of your head and an eight inch piece, which goes around your neck. You can customize that, although I'm finding that those measurements work for most people. So um, I usually, it's usually this is about, I would say like six inches. So I take about two inches off on each side because I started out with about a 10 inch thing. I'm looking for about a nine and a half inch mask when I'm finished along this measurement. And then I'll measure, I'll just do a dotted line like that. Fit all sew along. You can see I sewed along those diagonals that I wrote or that I drew earlier. And um, just a tip, it's easier to sew from here to there so you don't get your foot caught up on the pleats. And make sure you go back and forth, back stitch a few times to hold the elastic in place. And you can see that that eight inch elastic is a little bit tight across here. Um, and then the 10 inch one is looser. And then I'm just gonna cut along these sides. So there you go, and you just trim off this extra on each side. And then you can choose to finish this seam. You don't really have to, um, but you can choose to finish this seam with a little bias tape. I'm not, I'm not a very good seamstress. I'm just doing my best here. So this isn't great, but I'm sure some of you out there could do way better things. And then I'll show you how it looks on. On and it feels really weird. But then you put the higher strap up and you bring this onto your nose. You pinch your nose piece really good. And you bring this down and you can pop this out a little bit because it's got these nice pleats. So then this one's a little small for me because it's for a friend who's a little smaller. I'll disinfect it before I give it to her, so don't worry. Um, and yeah, there is your mask. And you can see it's a really nice fit. My sister, who is an ICU nurse, wears one. And a friend who's a pediatrician wears one. And they work really well. Um, the Filpy fabric has uh, I'll send a, I'll put a link so you can check it out, but it has a filtration rating of 95% for the smallest particles. So they should work, um, at least for filtration, similar to an N95. Um, and Miss Austin did testing. I hope that what I just demonstrated is similar to her intended design. If it's not, and you know that, or you are Nurse Austin, feel free to reach out or comment and I'll fix it. Um, I know when I started trying to think about making one of these, there weren't any YouTube tutorials. Um, I've never done one of these before. So thanks for bearing with me in the awkwardness of this. But um, I hope that you stay safe and keep yourself and your loved ones healthy um, and wear your mask.